top of this beautiful morning to now my people you are welcome to another episode of our cd hot newspaper headline for today will be the 30th day in the month of april 2022 hmm. we don't end another month with that oh. my people go start from the vanguard newspaper if you never subscribe to my channel i better click on the subscribe button to you it's only subscriber and uh, thank you well, uh, make you grab a cup of tea make me start waiting we know about ritual and killing for money now juju priest imam and pastors then speak oh. Emo Forest, where money making is life or death. Hmm. You let Doche don't come out and talk, say, marrying second wife, my best decision in life. Now, for inside Banga newspaper, we're not going to see that for me this morning. No. What our Fulani captors told us, gospel artist Tosin recounts horror with kidnappers. And Tinubu remains the man to beat. Now, Lawa, now talk about 2023. Daily Trust newspaper put for their own big headline talk, say, Nigeria's deadly marriages, how 46 husbands, wives were killed in 15 months. It's all about abusive spouses betraying partners. Now, experts, now then talk them. Life of Abuja uh, villagers displaced by bandits. Some talk, say, my wife and kids squatting for neighboring village. Talented young Nigerian shining in Hollywood. And about 2020 presidency, Faleke picks 100 million naira form for Tinobu. Admits as to strike, Quara undergraduate turned phone doctor. Moving on straight to Saturday Punch News, um, Saturday Sun newspaper this morning, my people. 2023 divides Afeni Ferry and Yoruba leaders and others. For justice and equity, it's Igbo Stone, Napa Ade Banjo, Nanitoka. EFCC obtains final forfeiture order on properties and vehicles for author Izzy's benefit. About 2023 presidency, Northern Elders moved to draft in Lawan, Southeast. Ohanese don't kick over military siege. Man impregnate 15 year old daughter in Undo State. Moving on straight to Guardian newspaper this morning, as to strike, students and parents don't bash federal government and politicians. You can find that one for page 2 of the Guardian newspaper this morning. Also, concerning the PDP zoning crisis, right of first refusal versus doctrine of equity. And the uh, HIFU, a new treatment uh, technique, comes to rescue of fibroid patients. Moving on straight to the Tribune newspaper this morning, new alafi controversy over the number of ruling houses. Head of your princes don't talk say there should be no agitation now. Edif tree, search for crescent of Shawal today, Sultan directs Muslims. Mother of, mu- of a widow in Osho State, one of us became a lover for us to get her body part for money. Now, suspect Naitoka. No decision yet on Southern Presidency, APC Chair Adamu Nainitokam. And Jonathan's posters don't flood Kano State. Too. Moving on straight to this day newspaper this morning. Abdullah Amadu, Adamu, I mean, no decision yet on zoning of APC presidential tickets. And President backs Ultramodern Royal Museum at Oba of Benin Palace, Germany, to return 1,130 looted Benin bronzes to Nigeria. 68 abducted train passengers spent 34 days in the dungeon of terrorists. Freedom still not in sight and family don't get frustrated. Moving on straight to the leadership newspaper this morning. Young aspirant dropping political ambition over cost of forms. Now about 2023 election, now they talk about, they talk say as money bags pay nomination fees for big names. Sorrow and anguish as community buries emo illegal refinery fire victims. And about uh, malaria, federal government target 10% reduction in prevalence and mortality by 2025. PDP screens Atiku, Ayim, others and disqualifies two presidential aspirants. Moving on straight to the Punch newspaper this morning, Punch gets a plenty juicy stories. About Yule Doche, family, colleagues and fam- the fans divided over Yule Doche's second wife. And the Ogun artisan not come and contact say we were joyfully expecting twins but sorrow came when my wife died after delivering triplets. We lead Elzazaki and wife and passport cleric bet federal government. Also, next Alafi will inherit Oba Adeyemi's wife, na Abishop Ladigbolu, na in talk that one. Moving on straight to the Saturday Telegraph newspaper this morning. Southwest Monarch moved to broker consensus in presidential race, na Oshibaju, Tinubu, and others. APC, 4.8 billion Naira National Convention expenditure causes upheaval. And uh, Tinobu picks APC presidential forms. We now also see there about presidency. PDP don't disqualify two as aspirants disagree on zoning. 
60% of Adamawa women give birth at home due to poverty and religious beliefs. We now go find many, these are many more stories for the Saturday Telegraph this morning. The last newspaper for today, now Saturday Independence. Tears of blood in Imo community as oil explosion kills over 200. The talk say even nursing students don't die for that inferno. 2023 presidency. PDP screening committee disqualifies two out of the 17 aspirants. Nollywood, a reflection of Nigeria, Nabimbo Akintola Naitokan. And Frank Edoho, who wants to be a millionaire, don't return no. In talk says 76 people were auditioned before my recall. Direct or indirect promise Tinubu will win, says Lawal and Faliki. An APC undecided over zoning formula for presidential tickets. My people, now this much you go take for the headline news for today till I see you tomorrow. Have a beautiful time. God bless Nigeria. Bye bye.